Yeah, so private smart contracts, I think, are maybe the last big missing piece of what our industry is supposed to provide to the financial system. Mm. Because privacy exists in the traditional existing system. Yes. But it doesn't exist in the blockchain world. Right. And while that presents certain problems to the public chain user, it actually presents much, much larger problems to the institutional smart contract creator and user. Absolutely. So what private smart contracts from Chainlink are about is the ability to create privacy for smart contracts on any chain using something called the Chainlink runtime environment. Mm. So the Chainlink runtime environment is where you would run the part of the code from the smart about the smart contract that you want to remain private. Right. And that you want to remain um, you know, private from everyone other than the people you designate. Mm. So you can still share that code with your counterparty. Right. You could share it with regulators. Mm. And they can verify that the code that was run in the Chainlink runtime environment is the code that you told them that was run there. Uh, but it was run privately. Got it. And then there's proofs that are put on chain also that the code was run as it was supposed to be. Mm. This is using something called Chainlink Confidential Compute that we released a white paper about here at the conference. Right. And that will be rolling out uh, early next year and throughout next year with more and more features. Right. And it's built on the, the Chainlink runtime environment. Okay. Which is basically the place where you where you write code to orchestrate all the different Chainlink oracles and write a single piece of code to manage all the different chains and oracles in one place.